Hello, welcome to another Research Methods for the Biosciences screencast for Minitab. This screencast covers section 9.3, Chi-squared test for association. A Chi-squared test for association is performed when you are looking for an association between two factors that both have distinct categories. In our example, the factors are species and location, and each has two categories. The former, the observed snail is either C. nemeralis, or C. hortensis. For the latter factor, each observed snail was either found in the hedgerow or the woodland. Thus each observation can be exclusively assigned to two categories, with each category being part of a different factor. We can thus summarise the observations as counts associated with two specific factor categories as shown in Table 9.5. Being a chi-square test, the programme requires expected values to compare our count data to. We can determine the expected values from the data itself using a process called cross-tabulation by constructing a contingency table. See box 9.1 in the book. Fortunately, the program will calculate the values for us before doing the chi-squared analysis. So let's do the test. I have placed the data from table 9.5 into Minitab. And one of the nice features of Minitab is you can represent the data to actually look like the table it came from. In this case, column 1 has the row headings. Column 2 and column 3 gives you the column heading and the data. So let's perform the test. We're going to track up to stat and click. We're going to go down to tables and a submenu opens. We're going to use the cross tabulation and chi-square so we'll track down to that and click. A window opens. I now need to tell Minitab where to find our data. I do that by clicking in the columns containing the table box and then selecting the data column by column. We have data in column 2, I'm going to select it and press the select button, and data in column 3, I'm going to select it and press the select button. These two columns also contain our column names. I now need to tell Minitab where to find the row names to the table. I do that by pressing in the row box. Our row names are in C1. I'm going to select that and go down to the select button. Our data is in the form of counts. So I'm now going to tick the count box to let Minitab know that we are using counts. Now to select the test, I'm going to go down to chi-square and click. I select the chi-square test by ticking the little box by it. But I'm also going to ask Minitab to display the expected values that it calculates by ticking the expected cell counts box. I now press OK. If you are using small data and have a 2x2 two two table, you can also do a Fisher's exact test. You do this by pressing other stats and tracking up to tick the Fisher's exact test box. Now press OK. We're now ready to run the test, so I'm now going to press OK in the main window. And the results output appears. As we can see in the results window, Minitab has given us a p-value for the chi-square test for association of 0 0.543. So what is the meaning of the p-value? A p-value of 1 means we can accept that all hypotheses is true, whereas a p-value of 0 means we can accept that all hypotheses as untrue. As we travel from a p-value of 1 to 0, the transition point between true and untrue is set at 0 0.05 in the biological sciences. But the smaller the p-value, the more confident we can be in rejecting the null hypothesis. And for some experiments, a transition p-value of 0 0.01 or even 0 0.001 may be preferable. So a p-value of 0 0.543 is above our transition probability of 0 0.05, meaning we cannot reject the null hypothesis and that there is no difference in the distribution of snails between the two locations. We can also see further down, it's given us a p-value for the Fisher's exact test of 0 0.654094. If we scroll up in the window, we can see that we also have the expected values given under the counts in a summary table. I hope you found this screencast useful. For further information behind the theory or how to use the test, please consult the book. More information on how to use the programs can be found in our walkthrough web guides in the Resource Centre. Thank you for listening.